Premenstrual syndrome is a group of physical and psychological disorders which occur just before the onset of the periods. Uh, if we talk about the treatment of premenstrual syndrome, it is divided as first line, second line, third line, and fourth line treatment according to Green Top Guideline. First line treatment involves advising the female uh, to do some exercises, cognitive behavior therapy, giving some vitamins like vitamin 6, B6 and uh, also uh, we can uh, consider as a first line which is very effective we can uh, consider giving new generation combined pills that is drops per non containing uh, combined pills can be offered. The other first line treatment involve, uh, involves giving SSRIs, that is selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors in the dosage of 10 mg. Either they can be given cyclically or continuously throughout the cycle. Second line treatment involves, if the first line treatment is not benefiting the female, then we can go for the second line treatment. Second line treatment involves giving estradiol patches, that is 100 um, microgram patches on daily basis and uh, towards the end of the cycle, that is from day 17 to 28, we can add uh, progesterone. This progesterone, uh, preferably it should be a micronized progesterone because it does not reintroduces uh, PMS like symptoms and the doses should be 10, 100 to 200 milligram or we can also consider inserting Marina 52 milligrams. Then if this is uh, another second line treatment which can be considered is going for higher dose of SSRIs that is uh, 20 to 40 milligram. If the first line and second line treatment they are not benefiting and the patient is uh, very much her quality of life is getting affected then the third line treatment involves uh, giving GnRH analogs along with add back therapy so the add back therapy can be combined HRT or it can be Tibolone 2.5 milligram and if the patient requires GnRH analog for a long duration of time uh, then uh, since this cannot be given for a longer duration we can consider and if she has completed her family life then we can consider going directly for a hysterectomy uh, together with removal of uh, bilateral salpingophrectomy that is both the ovaries along with the uterus has to be removed this can be or cannot be combined with HRT so this is the stepwise management there are some complementary therapies also which can benefit in PMS like going for calcium, vitamin D, and uh, some St. John Wards, some uh, plant derived products are there, then some vitamins are there, like vitamin B6, and also some natural products like saffron. They are found to be benefiting the, uh, and also evening prandosa oil. So they are found to be benefiting the symptoms of PMS as well. Thank you.